here's a close-up of Penelope, which is the cat that Pepe likes. So here you can see she is actually the squirrel pattern as well. This is the crochet squirrel that I'm talking about. His name is Chip. But with this fun crochet pattern, you can also make different characters. So here's the girl squirrel. And you can see how I use a different yarn for the tail. And I show how I do that in the crochet squirrel video tutorial. I also show the different eyes. So you can see I named this boy squirrel Chip. And you can see that Chip has the different eyes compared to the girl squirrel. And with hers, you can see the little wreath inside of her eyes. These are hand painted, painted into the safety doll eye. I also show how to make the acorn. And yes, the acorn also opens up with the secret compartment so the top open, zips open. And I have a separate video tutorial for the acorns. And then back to the cat, you can see how I added whiskers. So it's the same crochet pattern as the squirrel, just a couple of differences. The whiskers, which I'll show how I, in a separate video tutorial, I show how I make the whiskers. And also I changed her feet. And I added claws. So the squirrel has a different foot, slightly different foot and no claws. So you can have a lot of fun and I show you all of the differences between these characters and again her eyes are the cat eyes that glow in the dark and then Pepe or the skunk has completely handmade eyes. For this crochet project you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook as well as a tapestry needle. I have one tapestry needle with a large eye just to sew in the loose yarn ends as well as sewing the pieces of the amigurumi together. If you're making your own eyes you're going to need a slender tapestry needle with a very thin and large eye to it. And you may need a DMC yarn threader to help you thread the thin tapestry needle eye. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and you may need a small pair of embroidery scissors if you're making your own amigurumi eyes. I'm going to be showing you the different eyes that I used. I love these comical eyes that I got from 6060 Eyes for Chip. These are a 30 millimeter comical eye, safety eye. It comes with the metal latch on the back and they turned out really cute. But I also show you how to make your own eyes if you want. When you make your own eyes they come out just as cute. This is Pepe Le Pew. He's not completely finished yet, but I'm working on him and you can completely make his eye. And I'm going to show you the materials that I used to make his eye. On my blog at www.helenmaycrochet.com you're going to find a free PDF download for the squirrel eyes. I'm just going to show you on video tutorial also if you just want to make your own and you don't need the diagram, you want to make your own diagrams. But for the white portion of the eye it's four centimeters by two and a half centimeters. The pupil is two centimeters by two centimeters. And then the black portion that goes behind the white portion of the eye is four and a half centimeters by three centimeters. And then the crochet backing, I'm just going to show you the measurements on this in case you're using a different style of yarn. It's four and a half centimeters by eight centimeters. And again, I'm going to have this for free download on my blog. 
I like to use the felt that has the glitter on it. So I have the black glittery felt and then I have the white glittery felt. I used my small sequins. The size, they're iridescent. They're the five millimeter round cup sequin, iridescent. And you get tons of them. I still have a ton of them left. And again, this is how the eye looks when you're finished making it with the sequin and the felt. On video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this style of eye for the female squirrel. I really love how it turned out, but you can see how I used the glitter felt, the white and the black, but I used a safety doll eye and the latch latches on the back. And what's neat about this safety doll eye is it has a little design, a holly design, around the pupil. This is a 15 millimeter safety eye called the Holly Wreath by 6060eyes.com and it has a plastic latch that goes on the back. The eyelashes that I used are by KISS Ever Easy Lashes and I only needed half for one eye so I cut it in half with a pair of scissors and I placed it here right above the safety latch eye and I used safety glue to hold it in place. You see how the lashes, it holds really well too. And I, safety, I used the glue, the Gorilla Glue, on the felt itself and it held really well. This is my favorite super glue to use by Gorilla. It has a brush and a nozzle. So the brush makes it really easy to use because you don't want to get it on your fingers. So I love that it has the brush. And then once I've opened it, I keep it really tight, closely, closed tightly. And then I just put it in a Ziploc bag and it keeps it really nice so it doesn't dry out on me. The nose that I used is a triangular nose, black nose, safety nose, and these are 21 millimeters by Fab Lab Craft, but you can use any black triangular safety nose that you want. And again, this is a 21 millimeter. This is what the 21 millimeter nose looks like. It's really cute. I'm also going to be showing you how to make a nose if you don't want to buy one. This is what it looks like with the triangular safety nose and then this is again what it looks like with the comical safety eyes. And here is the nose on Pepe Le Pew. So I'm going to be showing you how to make the nose. And again Pepe Le Pew is a skunk. So if you like this style nose for your squirrel, you can make that as well if you wanted to. Again, Pepe Le Pew is the same pattern as the squirrel, just different colors. The nose is a little different, and the eyes. Now in Chip, I didn't put anything in his neck, but sometimes the yarn, depending on the yarn that you use, the head can be a little wobbly, especially if you have a skinny neck. So I'm going to show you how to correct that. So you can see that on Pepe Le Pew, he has a really skinny neck, but yet he's able to hold his head up just fine. And it's because I put something inside of the neck, and it is child safe. I, saw, I read about it in one of the crochet blogs, and I thought that it was just a really neat idea. I used these curlers. So 
They, I'm not sure what colors, curlers that they used. They probably used the squishy soft ones. Those will work also. But I decided to use these because you can see all of the different size, sizes that you get and you get more of them in this pack. So for the same, I got these at Walmart. For the same inexpensive price, you get a lot more with these and they come in different sizes. So these are the Self Grip Rollers by Voluminous Curls, Conair. And I'm just going to show you a close-up one of these. These are plastic and they have this little fuzzy stuff on them, but they're very sturdy. So the size that I used in Pepe Le Pew the Skunk was this blue one. So I just stuck it right in there. And I'm going to show you on video tutorial, I'm going to be using one of these in the female squirrel that I'm making. The other thing that you may want to add to the cheeks is a little blush. And the color that I like with the squirrel and the skunk is by Almay. It's a powder blush pink. This blush will last you forever. You just need a little bit of it. And here you can see on video I have a little bit on here. I don't know if you can see it on video. It's just a touch of the blush. And then here you can see a little bit more on the white on Pepe Le Pew, the skunk. Now to use, I'm going to show you what I used the Sew the Eyes on. You could see the stitch with what I used, but not unless I point it out because it kind of blends in with the glitter on the felt. But what I used was um, this crystal string. And it's not very clear. It has a little bit of a shiny appearance to it and it's very stretchy and strong. I still like it, which is why I still used it. So if you like it, you get a lot of it and it's by Bead Nova Crystal String. 100% polyester, it's one millimeter or .039 inch, 60 meters or 196 feet. But if you want a more clear, the reason why I like this one too is because you can see it as a whisker. So I plan on using this as cat whiskers also. But if you want more of a clear one for sewing, this is my favorite to use. It's by Stretch Magic. It's also very strong and stretchy, and this one is clear. You can still see it just a little, little bit, but it barely at all. It's really clear and stretchy and strong. And this one's a 0.5 millimeter. There's going to be a separate video tutorial for this adorable acorn that goes with your squirrel and the surprise that I have with this one is that you can open it with a zipper and you can put things inside of it. So you can put candy or whatever other item that you want to put into it. And again, there's a separate video tutorial for the acorn. The yarn that I used for Chip, if you like this color yarn or brown that I used for him, I used Crafter's Secret. It's very inexpensive. Also has a free pattern included. The color is brown. Now I needed two skeins of this. I almost got Chip made with one skein. I was just short one ear. But I just love this color and the way the yarn made Chip. He's very sturdy. He's able to hold his neck up without anything in it if you wanted to. But again, you need two skeins of this yarn. If you love the yarn that I used, the color that I used for Chip, then you're going to love this huge roll of yarn that you get with Crafter's Secret for Big Ideas. You only need, of course, one skein and you probably can make more than one. I'm not sure with this one. It also has a free pattern included. The color is brown. Here's some information about this yarn. It 
and then you get a ton of yarn with this one. On video tutorial, I'm going to be using the Big Twist Yarn Premium. This is some information about this yarn. 100% acrylic. The color of this one is Gingerbread. And again, this is by Big Twist Premium Yarn. I just love the color of it. So I'm going to be making the female with the same pattern as Chip using this yarn. So for Chip, I use this beige colored yarn. It's actually, the color is called Fleece. And you can see that you're going to have a lot left over. So you have plenty. I'm going to be using this yarn on the female squirrel too. So you can actually use one skein for two of these cute, adorable squirrels. This is the same colored yarn. It's by Yarn B. So the, the fleece, this is the fleece color. And then the other skein of yarn that you could use as an alternate is a snow colored yarn. So if you want more of a white color, I use the beige for the squirrel. If you like the look of this yarn, here's some information about it. So it's 135 yards, 3 ounces. Also has a free pattern. The color is snow. And then here's more information about this yarn for those trying to find an equivalent. If you're making the skunk, for the main color for Pepe Le Pew, I used my Super Saver Jumbo Red Heart yarn, which works great. Here's some information about this yarn. 14 ounce, 395, 96 grams. And here's more information about this yarn. So they come out pretty equivalent, the two yarns. So if you wanted to use a Red Heart equivalent yarn for Chip, the squirrel. If you can find a similar brown color, you could probably use that too. The white colored yarn that you could use if you want a lot more of the yarn, you can use Big Twist yarn. This is Rainbow Classic Big Twist white yarn and I'm also using the black yarn for the skunk. So that's an alternate yarn that you could use for your squirrel too if you wanted to, is Big Twist Rainbow Classic. So for the squirrel on the back tail, I used, this is the Bernat Pipsqueak yarn, but don't worry, you're not going to have to crochet with it. Some people have a hard time crocheting with this yarn. It's very soft, but I just looped it. So all you have to do is use your tapestry needle and kind of loop it on the tail. So I'm going to be showing you how to make the tail with crochet, similar to the body, and then you would just loop yarn on it to make it fuzzy, a big fuzzy tail. And then I also used, this is the fleece yarn that I gave for an alternate color that I just looped on the back of the tail. So I'll be showing you how to make that. But if you like the look and the feel, which I love, this is the Bernat Pipsqueak brown colored yarn. So I ordered mine off of Amazon Prime. I'm also going to be showing you how to make the bow tie. So I'm going to show you the yarn that I used for the bow tie. I used I Love This Yarn Neon. It also has a free pattern included. The color is Blue Neon. Here's some information about this yarn. Of course you're going to have a lot left over for other projects. And I use some of my Red Heart Party 
sparkle blue yarn that I had left over for the bow. Now for Pepe Le Pew the Skunk, I'm going to be using the same style of yarn, Red Heart Party, but it's the red sparkle for his bow. If you like the alternate colors that I used for the tail, I love this yarn that I found. It's by Yarn Bee. It's not very expensive and you get quite a bit of it. This is called Snuggle Up Mink. Here's how much yarn that you get with this one. About three and a half ounces. Color is mink. Here's some information about this yarn. For the skunk, I use this gorgeous black soft, but it's really soft and beautiful.